Good afternoon, Nantucket. I'm Andrew Cromarty, NCTV Station Manager, and the crew at NCTV has a very special message as we begin this spring holiday weekend for Easter and Passover. This is part of the wellness portion of Nantucket Pulse programming made possible by Nantucket Cottage Hospital Community Health Initiative. We present Father Max from St. Paul's Church, Rabbi Gary Breton Grenatour from Congregation Sharat Hayam, Father John Kelleher from St. Mary Our Lady of the Isle Catholic Church, and Reverend Linda Simmons from Nantucket Unitarian Meeting House. Maybe you have seen the icon that we have here at St. Paul's Episcopal Church on Fair Street of Fred Rogers. Uh, Mr. Rogers was one of our dear parishioners when he was on the island. And remember his mother always said during anxious times, like the ones we're having now around the world, during anxious times, he said, his mother said, for comfort, look for the helpers. Look for the helpers in our community. And I'll be blessed to live in a tight knit community on Nantucket Island, where we know who the helpers are. We know the nurses and doctors and volunteers at the hospital, the technicians. We know that our grocers, uh, we know the, our fire department and police staff, our first responders, they're our family. And doesn't it give us comfort when we look at the helpers to know that we're in good hands, right? We're in God's hands, but we're in good hands with the helpers. So we thank Mr. Rogers for his inspiration, comforting words during these times. Hi, this is Rabbi Gary Breton Granitor. I'm the rabbi of Congregation Shirat Hayam on Nantucket. And I'm honored to be able to share a message about Passover with all of you and a message for this strange moment we're all living in. This evening we'll begin the celebration of Passover, which is a story about our ancestors who were enslaved in Egypt, whose backs were broken, whose spirits were broken, and they longed for a promised land. They longed for freedom. And the story that we tell year in and year out is the story of our ancestors who were slaves, who marched forward to freedom. It's interesting that the word for Egypt in Hebrew is Mitzrayim, which comes from the Hebrew word Tsar, which means narrow or constricted place. So Egypt was a place where we were boxed in. Other people told us what we had to do. Our lives were not our own. Mitzrayim was that constricted place. And guess what? We're feeling that very much again in our own homes. Our movements are restricted. We can't go out and hug people that we love. We can't shake hands with people that we're meeting. We can't determine our own destiny right now. But just like the, our ancestors in Egypt, they marched forward and they saw that there was a promised land in the distance and they just had to be patient and get there. We have to be patient we will get there. We will be released from the constriction that we feel in order to stem the tide of this awful virus that's attacking not just our community, but our spirits as well. And so my hope is that whether you're celebrating Passover or Easter or Ramadan, that all of these are symbols of hope, symbols of the notion that there's something better down the road if we can be patient, if we can march forward. So I hope that in the coming days, we will be able to weather this crisis. New cures will be found, new tests will be discovered, and we will be able to rejoin one another in the streets and say, we marched forward to our own promised land. For the Jews, Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've had to celebrate under duress. Our history is littered with awful times. And yet, regardless of how bad things were, no matter how dire they were, we celebrated that march to freedom. I hope you do too, as we all try to be patient so that our promised land, our freedom, is restored to us once again. Blessings in this holiday season. Shalom. As a Unitarian Universalist, the holidays of Passover and Easter are about justice making, showing up, 
and growing in empathy as we falter towards beloved community. Passover and Easter have very important meanings for us. Jesus was crucified for resisting an unjust state, for seeing and helping people see that they had worth and a right to meaning without apology. And Passover reminds all of us to keep telling the stories of who we are as a people and where we come from, to not forget the torment and the suffering endured by so many then and now. Both Passover and Easter also call us to look more deeply at what needs to be done now, today, to ask and learn who are today's dispossessed and what is our responsibility as a justice-making people and all people of faith are called to be a justice-making people. So this Easter and this Passover, my question is, what does the practice of beloved community look like now? What changes of justice and equity can we start building today so that when we open our doors and our economies and our hearts and tell our stories, something more humane can arise? And don't lose faith. Have faith in our ancestors, our guiding stories, and in all of us. We can still make a difference. We can still create the world we dream about. We have so much wisdom in and around us. Be well, my friends. Bless you. Hello, everyone. My name is Father John Kelleher, and I'm the pastor at St. Mary, Our Lady of the Isle Parish, here on Nantucket. One question that a lot of us might be dealing with, even as people of faith, is how do we deal with this coronavirus crisis? One approach to that might be to raise the question, what teachings or insights might God be offering us through this crisis? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that God gave us the pandemic to teach us lessons, but I am saying that we believe that God is always present with us. He's always reaching out to us and trying to teach us, trying to give us insights about our lives. So what might he be trying to say to us at this time? One lesson that might be ours at this time is uh, we need to express love to the people we love. We shouldn't wait for the eulogy to do that. Tell the people we love that we love them. Tell them what they mean to us. Compliment them, build them up, encourage them. Now is the time to do that. Every day is the time to do that. So that's one lesson we could have from this time of pandemic. Some people have said to me recently that it's not gonna be much of an Easter this year. I guess Easter is canceled. And to that I would say, Definitely not. It's even more important than ever that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Celebrate means to remember with gratitude. Remember with gratitude the resurrection of Jesus. The meaning of this event is particularly important in the midst of this crisis. Jesus encountered hatred, evil, sin, and ultimately death at the hands of the people of his day. And people thought, well, that's the end of him. Nobody can overcome that. But the powerful love of God raised him from the dead. And Jesus's victory over sin and death is also our victory over sin and death. In other words, we don't have to fear death. Jesus said, do not be afraid, little flock. It has pleased the Father to give you the kingdom. Such an important insight at this time of illness and death. It has pleased the Father to give you the kingdom. We don't need to fear death. Another outcome of the resurrection is that after it happened, Jesus gave us all the gift of his spirit. The loving spirit of Christ is with us which means we're never alone, no matter what we're going through. Never alone. Jesus walks with us through it. 
He will bring us through whatever it is. So if I could offer some advice during this time, I'd say rely on your faith, whatever your faith tradition is. Maybe deepen your relationship with God at this time. A lot of us have a little extra time on our hands, so maybe we can spend some more time in prayer with God. If you have live streaming in your faith community, I would say participate in it. It's a wonderful way to stay connected with other people in your faith community, uh, with your pastor. Um, and besides that, I just say, walk, walk with God through this. Take it one day at a time, and he will bring us through this. And may God bless you at this difficult time. We hope you all have a relaxing holiday weekend during this challenging time. We will be back next week. And on behalf of our entire crew at NCTV, we wish you all the joys that the spring and this holiday weekend offer. Stay well.